Before comparing the two films, I would like to introduce them first. The painter Marianne received a commission for a wedding portrait of Eloise, an aristocratic lady who is about to marry against her will. Marianne had to observe Eloise and complete painting without her knowing. While painting the portrait, Marianne and Eloise spent a lot of time together and developed their feelings. They fell in love for a short time but ended with breaking up. The film ends with Eloise getting married and Marianne becoming a painter and living at the theater. Hideko, a lady who lost her parents when she was young and lived under the protection of her uncle, is visited by a new maid, Suki, recommended by the Count. However, the identity of her maid was an orphan girl who was a pickpocket. She had been offered by a Count to save her money by saving a young lady who would inherit her vast fortune and become a maid to make a young lady fall in love with the Count. While sitting on the lady with the Count, Hideko and Suki fell in love and conversely planned to trick the Count and the uncle to run away. The two films are as different as they are similar. In particular, it can be seen that there are many similarities in the situation and settings of the female protagonist. The background of the film is not modern society, but the modern times of France, Korea, and Japan in the 18th century, and the architecture, style, and costumes of the characters in the film clearly show the age difference. As it is a period drama film, there were differences in the status of main characters. A noble lady and a painter, and a young lady and a maid, expressing a romantic story that transcends their social status. Sally Siama, who made a portrait of a lady on fire, wanted to talk deeply about equality not only of main characters but also of maid in the film. The technical part that could be found in the movie was very interesting. It was eye contact, close-up, and symmetry. Unlike other romance films, they shared their feelings through gaze and silence rather than physically loving each other. It could be seen that eye contact occupies a large part in the movie, and it was expressing their complex emotion instead. One of the ways to show their eye contact more effectively is a close-up. In so many scenes, the close-up techniques were being used to share their emotion and gaze. Also, we were able to see a few symmetrical compositions, and with these scenes, the audience could have a sense of stability while watching the movie and form a sense of immersion. Film official says that great effort was put into the artistic element of the two films. As such, we were able to find many interesting things in these films. The first is the color used in the film. As I observed their costumes, I could see that the color of the clothing was a way to express themselves. Marian, a passionate and independent artist, is expressed in red, and Eloise, who longs for freedom, is expressed in blue. On the other hand, the clothes of the lady in the movie The Handmaiden and the colors and patterns used in her bedroom represent her side clothing. I personally think the backgrounds of the two films are very beautiful. Every scene was like a painting and I could see different cultures of the East and the West in one scene. Finally, I want to compare the endings of the two. Even though it was the same pure movie and the situation it faced were similar, the movie ended with a distinctly different ending. Why Eloise and Marion choose their own paths excluding their feelings of love, Hideko and Suki choose to run away from the things that hindered their love, both had beautiful endings and were able to leave a deep impression on the audience because they choose opposite. Peut-être que c'est elle qui lui a dit. Retourne-toi. Retourne-toi.